Land acquisition has been interesting for us. Uh, I think we knew we wanted to come back home. Uh, the, the key was, okay, where where would we come home? Uh, we, we actually had purchased a prior property, 15 acres, about 10 miles away from here. And I think at one time we may have thought that was going to be our home place. Mm -hmm. Then things sort of fell in place. Uh, this land, had we knew it, it came up for sale at one point in time, but it seemed to have uh, came off the market. Mm -hmm. Then it came back on the market. Uh, and then, you know, when land is available, you have to purchase it at that time. Uh, so when it came up, being this close to where we lived, mm -hmm. we said we had to get this land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately for us, we had the cash that we could purchase that land. Right. So we did not have to deal with uh, private loans or going through the government to try to get the land. So when it came up, we had the funds available. We purchased this, this first piece outright with cash. Mm -hmm. uh, the next 40 acres that was adjacent came up to it and we said, okay, well, let's get that one too. Uh, we purchased that one with cash. Then the next 40 acres came up and we said, wait a minute, uh, we're, we're running out of cash here. Yeah. You know, you know, we have to live as well. So we decided, well, how, how can we acquire land without using our own capital? And that was a struggle for us. Uh, right. I lived in Georgia, Alan lived in Texas, Bernie lived in Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. You know, we checked with our local banks, banks mm -hmm. we've been dealing with for the past 40 years, right? And they said, no, we don't, we don't finance land. We don't finance land. So we were saying, wow, this land is right here next to us. It has to be a way to get it. Uh, fortunately, Alan reached out to a few people mm -hmm. and they recommended a local, uh, Union credit union right here about uh, in the town next adjacent to us and they say yeah, that's what we do We finance land and so we was able to work with them and based upon them. We've been able to Acquire additional land as land comes up now So we feel comfortable that as more land come up. We now have an avenue to do that But starting out we didn't know anything about that place and it's about 15 miles from us here what blew my mind about that, you know, like uh, I was telling my brother, I ain't got mad about it. I said, these folks own all this land. somebody got to be financing this land for them, you know. The banks told me to call, and they told me they didn't do it. They didn't do it. So I was at work was about one morning. So I, was, so I was just on the farm, all kind of employed, we're doing pretty good. So I was calling around. And I ran into a lady in Detroit, Michigan. She taught me the lesson how to do it. I said, yeah, we got folks that finance land. And she told me about two people in Louisiana. She told me to call them. I told them where I live. So you got one that don't live too far from you. Mm-hmm. So that's how things <laughs> fell in place for me, mm -hmm. you know. But I tried in Texas. Texas told me that they don't finance land in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. That's where I was living, you know. And I got looking. I said, folks got all this property. Somebody got to be financing this property. <laughs> Banks say they don't want to take the risk. It's too risky finance property with no houses on it. And everything. So we had to learn that. Now we got the ball rolling. We learned how to do this. That's how we got the ball rolling. You pay more in interest rates, right? When you go private versus if you could have gotten a government loan, you know that you know, and, and every bit goes to the bottom line. But again, land, when it comes available and in, in, in the location it was. It was just too great of a deal, so uh, you you have to do what you need to do at that point in time in, in order to uh, acquire that land, and and it worked out for us. <laughs> don't be afraid to ask around, you know. Don't be, don't be afraid right. to ask. Right? Are you gonna say yes or no? No, that's right. Yes or yeah. no? Do you want to say yes or no? That's you know you're gonna get an answer. <laughs> And a lot of times in these rural areas, if it's 5, 10, 15 acres, they're not going to advertise it. No. You know, it's going to be word of mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's how it gets around. Somebody say, you know, somebody wants to sell land, and it gets around like that. But uh, the big acres, they are list with a real estate company, you know, and they, then they advertise it. But those don't last long. And that's why it's interesting to be with your those, your, your, your your cattlemen's association, right. your yeah. local association, mm -hmm. because those are some of the people that know yeah. when the land mm -hmm. is coming available. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll give you the heads up on mm -hmm. that. So definitely work closely with your local organizations mm -hmm. in, in, in your community. Mm -hmm.